in Dechani municipality, immediately to the south of Pech, similar events transpired in the village of Beleg at the end of March 1999. There, the Kosovo-Albanian residents were rounded up by police and VJ personnel, including reservists, in the course of which some men were killed. A large group of predominantly Kosovo-Albanian women and children were detained and mistreated. Some of the women were sexually assaulted and some men were physically abused. The next day, most of the people from the group were ordered to go to Albania and those who remained have not been heard from since. South of Dechani, in Jakovica town, a prevailing atmosphere of terror was created by police and VJ forces from the commencement of the NATO bombing campaign. These forces engaged in the selective looting and burning of buildings, and MOOP forces killed Kosovo-Albanian residents of the town, including a group of 20 women and children in a basement in Milos Dilic Street at the beginning of April. As a consequence, a large number of Kosovo Albanians fled the town and traveled to and across the Albanian border. During their journey, their personal identity documents were taken from them by VJ and MOOP forces. Kosovo Albanian residents of villages in Jakovica municipality were also expelled from their homes by army and police forces in April 1999, in particular during a joint operation in the area known as the Reka or Charagoy Valley at the end of the month. In the course of that operation, a number of Kosovo Albanians were killed by members of the police and VJ, and the bodies of at least 287 people who went missing from Maya and the surrounding area at that time were subsequently found in mass graves at Batanitsa, close to Belgrade. It is uncontested that a broad operation was conducted by the VJ and MOOP at the end of March 1999 in an area covering parts of Prizren, Suvareka, and Orahovac's municipalities in southwestern Kosovo. During the course of that operation, on 25th March 1999, Kosovo Albanian villagers from Pirane in Prizren municipality fled their homes as a consequence of the shelling of the village and the torching of houses by VJ and MOOP forces. The same day, MOOP and VJ forces attacked the village of Tselina in Orahovac's municipality, looting and setting the majority of houses on fire. These forces terrorized the inhabitants of the village killing a number of people, people from Tselina who had fled their homes and taken shelter in nearby woods, were later rounded up and robbed of their valuables and identity documents. Some of them were physically abused and they were sent towards the Albanian border. MOOP personnel also deliberately destroyed the local mosque on 28th March 1999 a Muslim holiday. The same day as Tselina and Pirane were attacked, nearby Bela Tsirkva in Orahovac's municipality was also attacked, sorry, was also targeted by VJ and MOOP forces, which shelled the village and burned houses, causing the inhabitants to flee. During the course of this attack, Police forces brutally killed a number of men, women, and children who were hiding in groups in a riverbed. The village of Mala Krusha to the south of Tselina and Belatsirkva and to the north of Pirane was also surrounded by VJ and MOOP forces on 25th March 1999 
And the Mook then entered the village, looting and setting houses on fire with the assistance of some local Serbs. The Kosovo-Albanian residents of the village went to hide in a wooded area and were later rounded up, the women and children being told to go to Albania. More than 110 men were robbed of their valuables and identity documents, mistreated, and then shut in a barn and shot by local members of the police, after which the barn was set on fire. Only eight of them survived. Around the same time, the residents of Dushanovo, a neighborhood of Prizren town, were expelled from their homes, beaten, threatened and robbed, and directed towards Albania. Later, in April 1999, people who had been displaced from Pirane during the operation and who were sheltering in nearby Srbica were also ordered to leave the village and go to Albania. In the course of the operation at the end of March 1999, special police forces were engaged in and around Suvareka town. On 26th March, local MOOP personnel targeted members of the Berisha family in the town killing 45 men, women, and children near their homes as they fled past a bus station and after they had taken shelter inside a local pizzeria. The bodies of the majority of these people were also later found in a mass grave in Batanitsa near Belgrade. In the days following the killings, the Suva Reka Mosque was damaged, and many of the remaining Kosovo Albanian residents of the town left their homes as the police set fire to houses, stole money and valuables, and ordered them to go to Albania. Kosovo Albanian civilians were forcibly displaced from villages in Srbica municipality in central Kosovo at the end of March and in April 1999. On 26th March, Turicevac's village was shelled and its inhabitants formed a convoy and left in the direction of Tushelje to the east. Mup and VJ forces then arrived in Tushelje and another convoy was formed which started moving towards Klina. Around this time, a large number of displaced people gathered in a field on the outskirts of the village of Izbica. Police forces surrounded the group, ordering the women and children to go to Albania and detaining the men. They then lined up and shot the men in two groups, killing at least 89 of them. Around mid-April, a group of women held by VJ or MOOP forces in the village of Kozitsa, after it had been shelled, was taken to Chires. At least four of these women were sexually assaulted, and eight of them were then killed by being thrown into three wells. At the end of April, Another offensive took place near Bax, close to Chires. In the course of this attack, a large group of Kosovo Albanian men were detained and mistreated. As soon as the NATO campaign began, prominent Kosovo Albanians in Kosovska Mitrovica town in the north of the province were targeted and some killed by the police. Kosovo-Albanian houses were also burned by the police, and a large number of Kosovo-Albanians were expelled from parts of the town. Some subsequently returned to the town and then left again at the beginning of April, traveling on buses to Montenegro. 
In mid-April 1999, many Kosovo Albanians living or temporarily sheltering in Jabare and other nearby villages were forced to form convoys and leave Kosovo by MUP and VJ forces, which began to burn houses in the villages. Many of these people had to make their way on foot across Kosovo and south to the Albanian border, and they were robbed and further mistreated along the way. On 27th March 1999, VJ and MUP forces burned houses and at least one mosque in Vuchatern town and expelled Kosovo Albanian residents from the town. MUP forces also robbed and mistreated Kosovo Albanians in a large convoy moving from villages in Vuchatern municipality towards the south. On the night of 2nd May 1999, MUP forces killed at least two people in the convoy, which was then directed to some nearby buildings where its members were held overnight. The following day, one other person from the group was killed, and the MOOP directed the women, children, and early, uh, elderly people to continue on to Albania. They detained and mistreated the Kosovo Albanian men of military age for approximately three weeks in Smrekovnica prison before forcing them to cross the border into Albania. In Pristina town, the administrative center of Kosovo, the pattern of expulsion of Kosovo Albanians was repeated. Many people were directly evicted from their homes, while others fled out of fear of the violence around them caused by forces of the FRY in Serbia. The expulsion from Pristina was carried out in an organized manner with hundreds of Kosovo Albanians channeled to the train station and onto overcrowded trains that took them to the Macedonian border. In the course of this operation, at least three Kosovo Albanian women were sexually assaulted by VJ and MUP personnel. Villagers from Jegra and Prilepnica in Gnilyane municipality were also forcibly removed from their homes. In Jegra, the VJ, MUP, and other irregular forces, including local Serb civilians, drove out the Kosovo Albanian residents by way of threats, beatings, and killings at the end of March 1999. Many of the displaced people made their way to Macedonia. When they returned to their homes at the end of the conflict, they found that most of the Kosovo Albanian houses in the village had been burned and damaged to some degree, whereas the, house of the houses of the Serb residents remained untouched. <laughs> 